concern here is the attachment of the safety railing into the J edge anchor system at the slab edge, and it sits in front of the curtain wall. So the curtain wall can actually be attached over the safety railing, and it's real easy to uninstall the safety railing after the curtain wall is in place. You know, we still have the handrail plugs in place. Uh, so if you come to an odd area where you're missing glass or you can't set the panel, you're still fully protected from fall protection, and then the general contractor can come in later and take this post down anytime. And reuse. And reuse. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And reuse. So is this unique where where you have a, a, a handrail or a safety rail system that sets in inside of the curtain wall that is installed? It is. It's very unique. Yeah, this is something we've never never had the luxury of. And it actually works out great. Um, and it still gives us plenty of room to access our work while we're working on the panels while not having to be tied off, which saves us a ton of time. Dunn's had zero complaints about taking down the safety post after the fact. Uh, we've actually had to move a few for, for placement of our clips, and that's that's even great too, because you know typically you come into one that's casted in or welded on, you gotta cut it off or have someone cut it off for you, but we just have to slide it one way or another, put our clip on. That's J Edge Anchor System. That's allowing connections into the side of the building slab. Many people don't realize that whenever we have this bent plate pour stop as seen in the uh, uh, picture up here, it gets a temporary construction railing system welded to the inside of that bent plate pour stop. What that means is that whenever they're going along and they're fabricating this, they're welding it in the field or they're fabricating this in a shop, more likely they're welding this off in a field. So it saves that amount of time and what I'm going to show you in just a little bit. But the, the problem with this is also whenever they leave this in place and they pour the concrete, this is left in place because it still has to serve as a safety railing system. How do they get rid of it? They have to cut it off and so this actually leaves a re-entrant corner into your newly formed slab that can cause cracks, etc. associated with a slab. So this is a product that you can find online at jedgeanchor.com. It is a safety railing system that has a, a modified attachment system into the J-Edge Anchor system. And it's got a quick release with a key bearing lock associated with it so that it is a reusable safety railing system. Quick to install and quick to take down it doesn't leave the cutting off and the wasted material for the standard safety railing system that is welded to the inside of a bent plate pour stop system. Another advantage that we see in J Edge Anchor System is the ease of temporary construction enclosure. So if we use this same type of connection system that was used for the guardrail application and we have a continuous post that runs floor to floor associated with it, it's very easy to attach a temporary enclosure in a, in a sheet of some sort that gains you in the field an enclosed area where construction can go on uh, protected from inclement weather. That's J Edge Anchor System that's allowing connections into the side of the building slab.